Today we're gonna learn how to properly wash and wax the exterior of your boat. All right guys, so we're here, we're about to get to work. What you're gonna notice is I'm gonna be using a couple things. I'm gonna be using a machine. I'm gonna be using specific pads. I'm also going to be using specific techniques. Follow them through and through. In the description down below, there's gonna be links to all of my products. You can go on Amazon and buy them right away. I got kids to feed. I got enemies. I got guys give, so they envy me. Got some friends out in Memphis like I'm all go ahead and clean this thing we got our foam cannon and we have our dawn dishwashing soap I am using this to strip wax off a lot of people they'll wax their boat and then the next time they go out and like go fish or go anything they'll wash their boat down with dawn well guess what dawn rips your wax off same thing with bleach uh, same thing with comet same thing with soft scrub it's gonna rip your uh, your your wax off so if you want to strip wax use dawn and that's what I want to do I want to get a completely good surface on this so I'm gonna strip all this wax off with dawn and then we're gonna go ahead and seal her up so as you can tell right now we use the pressure washer to wash the entire boat uh, we fill the foam cannon up with soap give it a good shake and go ahead and soap it down um, you do not need a pressure washer for this step. You can easily do this with a soap and brush. But if you're a detailer or even a boat owner, if you have a pressure washer and a foam cannon, it will save you a ton of time um, and it just makes your life a lot easier. So what I'm doing now is I am uh, taking off the orange iron stains from the hull of the boat. Um, all I have in my little pump sprayer here is uh, Rust-Aid Acid. Um, I will leave a link in the description below. You can go there or I personally just buy it from Home Depot. It's like nine bucks. You really can't beat it. Um, boat cleaners, you know, if you go to West Marine, they sell hull cleaners. They're like $30. Uh, this stuff's only like nine bucks. Uh, that's one thing i really love about you know what i do is i find the most economical the not really the cheapest products because cheap products aren't always good but i always try to find the most cost efficient products that i possibly can one thing i will note here is uh, when you're going around the black trim and uh, any plastics to try to stay away from the plastics um, it can scar it but for the most part, you should just spray it on the gel coat and it really takes the orange right off. And uh, I usually let it sit on there for about two, two to three minutes and then go ahead and rinse it off like I'm doing now. All right, guys, we are ready to wax officially. This is the Griots machine. I use this machine in just about every single video I make. This is the machine to buy. If you are just uh, a guy with a boat, a boat owner or a captain, this would be the machine you want to buy. And we're going to wax it with this. I say wax, but it's not actually a wax. This is a polymer sealant. If you look on there, polymer sealant. If you use the Carnuba wax in salt water, it's literally going to be gone within weeks. What you want to use is a polymer sealant. It's going to last much longer. You'll usually get about six to eight months out of uh, protection out of this. When I go to wax a boat, I usually typically use a polishing microfiber. I'll leave it in the link down below. Get this pad. It's going to work out great every single time. Well, that's enough talking. Let's get to work. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start waxing this boat up. This is company called Jeskar very very good product first thing we want to do is we grab our machine give this a good shake one two three four dots we're gonna apply it to our surface you do shoulder width apart or a two foot by two foot section all right dab 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 I like to just dab it around real good just like this all right and then the first step you want to do is put it on about level two on your machine here and crank her on all right all you gotta do is spread it on right here. All right, now once we've spread it evenly, bump it up to about four, okay? And you wanna have a little bit of pressure. You don't wanna be pushing down on it. There's no need for that. Uh, you'll see me flex my hand. That's about how much pressure. Just hold it on there. We're gonna do a pattern. We're gonna go up, down, up, down, all the way. And then we're gonna go side to side. And then we're gonna go up, down, up, down. And then that's it. And then we're gonna move all the way down through our sections. 
So what you're going to notice here is I do my four dots and I put that one dot on the boat. What that allows me to do is when I'm buffing side to side, I know where to stop. Um, you don't want to really keep going over everything you did because it just wastes a lot of time. So if you notice as I go straight to where that little dot of wax is on the side of the boat and then I don't go any further. That tells me where I finished. Um, and then you just do that all the way down. You know, you take your, you, how I did it with the four dots and you dab it, dab it, dab it on speed two, spread it around really good. You can pump the trigger and then you put, bump it up to number four and then just go to town. The biggest trick is to always do the pattern side to side, up, down, side to side, put you some more wax on the pad and then go side to side, up, down, side to side. Um, I will say when you get a little bit more around the boat, you will not need four dots anymore because the sealant, the wax will actually start to cake onto the pad. So you don't need to put as much. So typically if it's a brand new pad and you start out, you're going to have to do about four dots uh, for your first probably four or five sections. And then after that, you only have to do about two dots because the wax is starting to kind of cake up on the pad. let it sit for 30 minutes that's the biggest key with this product let it sit for 30 minutes do not take it off with a rag sooner than 30 minutes let it sit for 30 minutes go inside take a break or what I do is I do this side first and then as a detailer or as a boat owner it makes sense do this side first and then do the other side typically this side's dry and you can go ahead and wipe it off Timing is everything in the detailing world. Uh, if you are a professional detailer, you know, you don't want to waste a lot of time waiting on products. So, you know, I always recommend, man, try to be as efficient as possible. You know, do one side, work all the way around. Um, I don't know if I actually specified in the video, but I can now, is I did the entire boat. I waxed the left side of the hull, I waxed the right side of the hull, and then I did both the tow rail all the way around. I did the callan, I did the motor, I did the lower unit, I did the transom, I did everything and then I came back and wiped it all off so by the time you get all the way around that boat everything that you did is already you know it's already dry you don't have to like sit there and twiddle your thumbs for 30 minutes if you're a boat owner and you're out here doing by hand you're wasting a lot of time and that's probably why you hate doing your boat. If you follow these steps to the T, you're gonna love it. So now we move to the tow rail. Um, just do it like normal, put the product on the pad. You can put the product directly on the tow rail and just scoop it up with your pad. That's a little bit easier, but I would just recommend if you are new to this, just put your product on the pad like normal and uh, polish away. Now you will see, I do go over the tow rail pretty good. I also go over all of the non-skid on the tow rail. I don't typically recommend doing the flooring of your boat because it can get a little slippery, but on the tow rail, I go ahead and do the non skid just so it it's extra protection on the whole non-skid on the entire tow rail um, and while you're doing it too you can also go over your metal as well so the really cool thing about just is you can use it on your cowlings as well and the whole, all the motor the lower unit you can use it on the whole motor really cool thing about this product too is you could also use it on your truck that you pull the boat with so man you spend 40 bucks on on some sealant with using the little bit amount that we use on your boat this thing's gonna last you months and then it's versatile you can use it on this you can you can use it on the hull you can use it on your callons you can use it on the inside of the boat you can even use it on metal you can use it uh, on on isinglass on windows you can use it also on your truck so one product does it all when you're doing your motor in your transom area a lot of the times there will be hard places to reach with the buffer that you can't actually get to so what i usually do is just take my pad off of the backing plate and just do those spots by hand we're gonna go ahead and wipe it off now. If you've seen any of my other videos, you already know this technique. We're gonna do the two towel technique, two towels. We're gonna to fold them in four, fold it in half, and then fold it in half. And what this does, when we're wiping the wax, it's gonna get caked on this side, and then we're gonna flip it, and then you can use this side, and then you flip it like this, and then you can use this side, 
and then you can use this side and then you undo it and then you can have four more sides. It's a better way to utilize all of your rag instead of just going at it like this and then you use your whole one side of your rag and then your whole rag is wasted. Fold these things in fours and get to rolling. So if you noticed here, especially around these decals, you want to make sure you get in between the letters. Uh, if you don't, come about two, three weeks later, you're going to see white kind of residue around all the letters. So I would definitely recommend spending a little bit more time just getting all inside of each letter and getting all of the wax residue out. Um, another thing you may notice is I typically delegate one hand as my initial takeoff rag and then my other hand as the finish rag. Um, typically it's my left hand or whichever direction I'm going, but typically my left hand is going to be the takeoff rag that I'm going to take off majority of the wax with or the sealant with, and then my right hand is going to be the hand that I kind of finesse it and polish it out with. So um, usually it'll switch up depending on which direction I'm going, but I typically like to delegate one hand to be kind of the main takeoff and then the other hand kind of the finishing uh, it goes the same thing on the tow rail here as well nothing changes we are completely finished up the boat is completely sealed it's completely wiped off we are finished if you do it right your boat should look like this now let's go over maintenance. Uh, what you don't want to do is use Dawn, Ajax, bleaches, or any heavy degreasers like Simple Green, Purple Power, anything like that. All of that is going to strip off everything we just did. It'll strip it off like that. What you want to use is a good wash and wax. So um, my personal favorite is Orpine Wash and Wax. You can find it in the link down below. Go ahead, buy that, wash it with that every single time. And this sealant right here should last you for months. If you've gotten value out of this video here, please go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe down below. It really means a lot to me and it helps me out personally. Uh, to view more videos, go to our channel and check out all the videos that we have. We'll see you next time.